Hey guys. I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick. I'm dead sleep right now. But I was about to talk to y'all real quick. I wanted to give y'all a little insight. Okay. So. <clears throat> okay. So. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I'm about to move y'all. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to stay on here long because I need to go to bed. to y'all because I just want I just want to tell y'all it's okay it don't even matter okay so <clears throat> okay so the reason I've been crying is that I just want to tell everybody how great God is and I'm just gonna give y'all a quick story so y'all can know so as you guys know, Daniel's, you know, his people don't be in his life, or you know, his, uh, well, his 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 dad don't be in his life. And I haven't talked to him in like five years now. Um, his grandma and them will come kind of in and out, and um, um, they will come kind of in and out or whatever, and you know. Recently, you know, you guys like after my, you know, I'll reach out and you know get a response for like a day or two, and then you kind of go missing again. And then recently, you know, I said, you know, why not? And I reached out, and you know, I had got a response back, and so we prayed. You know, not prayed. We went back and forth. I sent pictures and everything, and then you know, I had a moment where I said, you know, like. You know, like, kind of asking, like, what next? You know, like, do you guys want to be a part of his life? Like, what's going on? Like, did I do something to you guys? Like, what's wrong? Like, you know what I'm saying? I never asked for a relationship. I never asked for money. I never asked for any of that, you know? um, You know, like, I just never asked for any of that because I just feel like, you know, I never did child support even before I was doing YouTube because I just, I didn't need that. I just wanted him to have what I didn't have, which was your, you know, your, both your blood, you know, or just being loved by people. And it's like a, I just felt weird. So I sent them a text message and they never had responded. It was long. It was, it wasn't mean. It was just like a, Hey, you know, he's still young. We, we, you know what I'm saying? We can set up schedules for y'all to be in his life. Something. So that way, while he's still young, we can make it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, did that make sense? And they never responded. So I sent another message, like another long one, like, you know, like I really want y'all to be in his life. I sent more pictures and everything. Like, you know, you know, he has two teeth. He's like the cutest little boy ever. You know, like I love him so much. Like, I just know if y'all met him, y'all would love him too, just as much as I love him. And so I'm trying to tell y'all my, my thing. So, um, I left them alone and that was like maybe let's say like a I'm like they don't they were responding like it, I sent this stuff you know and they just never responded back and so I said okay like okay so Daniel was taking a bath you know after I took my bath and while he was taking his bath I kind of was like I couldn't get them out of my head so I FaceTimed I just FaceTimed and I FaceTimed him and nobody answered and I was just like, well, I don't know, like, if they see him in the tub, maybe if they see how cute he is, you know? Oh, my goodness, I'm trying to stay focused. You know, like, maybe if they see how cute he is, maybe, you know? But they didn't answer the phone, so I left it alone. So I'm still sitting there. I'm putting him in the bed, and I put ants on, I mean, ant bully on. And, you know, I say I say a prayer for me and Daniel, you know, to go to bed. And right when I say the prayer, he was up energized. And right when I started praying, he just kind of cuddled up to me and went to sleep. And so I said, mm, that was cute. And I'm laying there and I said, you know, I can't get them out of my head. I keep thinking, like, this is all my fault. Like, maybe if I, 
you know, would have made better decisions when I was younger. This wouldn't happen. And he could have had, you know, the right people in his life, you know? So, I'm so sorry, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. So, um... I'm just really like beating myself up. I'm just saying, sitting here, the TV's off, and you know, I go to the Bible to kind of listen to it, and I'm like, and I, I it's like I hear it, but I just can't get them out of my head because I'm just like, oh, now I feel stupid. Like, why would I send those text messages? Why am I begging people to be a part of my son's life? Like, you know what? Forget them. I'm just gonna change my number, yada, yada, yada. And so I sent the text message, and this is before I even went to the praying thing. Like, after I had did the FaceTime call, I sent a text message and I, you know, I did lie. And in my text message, I said, hey, we were thinking about coming to Indiana to see my brother, who's really there, and my nephew, who's really there. Um, we're planning a trip, which we are, but not right now. So, you know, so I, I lied, but, I just, you know, so no reply, nothing. So I said, oh, my God, I'm just angry. I'm like... Like, what did I do? Like, so, I, I'm i listening to the Bible. I can't focus. I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I'm trying to just listen to the word. Like, maybe if I think about it, God don't want me to think about it. And I just couldn't do it. So, I got up, and I went to the other side of the room, and I prayed. Like, this is the side of the room where I do, um, like, if y'all, my TikTok part. Like, the open space where the mirror is. And so, I prayed, you know. And I'm on the ground, and I just... While I'm praying, I just, I just start crying, and I'm just like, you know, God, like, help me, give me a sign, you know, you know, I just, I went in, you know, I just let go, and I'm just, I feel like I was just like breaking down, and I felt like, I don't know, I just felt like I was just breaking down, and I just couldn't, I'm just feeling bad, like, this is all my fault, because, you know, like, I know how it is to, like, grow up without, like, your biological people, you know, like not wanting to be bothered with you. And sometimes it don't be their fault. Sometimes it don't. It be the parents' fault. It can be anything. But I just felt bad because I did not want that for him. And I'm praying. I'm praying. And I'm just on the ground. I'm just like God, you know, guide me, help me, all this stuff. And you know, I'm just, you. I pray it. It feels like it was like ten something minutes. And while I'm on the ground, I'm praying. Like, you know, thank God, amen, and I stand up, I just stand up, and when I stand up, I walk to the other side of the room, and I my phone is going zoom, 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 and I look at it, and it's his grandma calling me back, and so I'm like, what? So, so I'm trying to answer my drag, I got snot all over my face, so wipe my face real quick. And it says, you know, miss FaceTime call. So I'm like, oh my God, did I miss it? So I call back and, you know, she answers. And I'm like, she's like, hey, I said, hi. And she said, and I said, oh, I was just calling because I wanted you to see him in the tub, you know? Like, I wanted you to see him. And she's just like, oh. And I said, okay, I want y'all a part of Daniel's life and I don't know what to do. And she just looked at me and then she just took a deep breath and she was like, <sighs> okay, call me tomorrow before 7.30 p.m. And I said, okay, and I, well, seven, and she's skipping. I'm like, you're skipping 7.30 p.m.? She's like, yeah, call me before 7.30 p.m. You know, just call at noon. And I said, call you or FaceTime. And she said, either one. I said, okay. And she said, all right. And we hung up and I just, I just could, I just couldn't stop crying after that because, you know, you know, like who would have thought my prayers would have been answered like right there. Like, cause I've been trying to reach out to these people for, it seemed like forever, you know, and for them to like, you know, it's, it's, it's so hard. I like, I never get, can get them on the phone. Like, you know, and then for them, for that to happen was just like amazing like who would have thought that that would happen and so i was just i just couldn't stop like i just couldn't stop crying i had to go tell my sister i'm like can you help me like i just want to tell everybody like how great god is you know and i i didn't feel angry like oh finally i was just like okay because it's not about me like it's not about me it's about daniel you know because you know, it's not about me. And so, 
I was just like, these aren't sad tears. These are just like, God is awesome tears. Like, because I would have never thought I was going to get a call back because I never get a call back, you know? And so, it just, for, for everything to kind of just line up, the you know, it just was amazing. And then she texts me after and she's like, I would love, love, love to, you know, see my grandson. And I'm just like, I'm looking at them like, who would have knew, you know, but it was something different about this prayer. It was something different. It was something different inside me. Like, it was, it was like, a, it was just something different. The words flowed out of me different than any other time. It just, this one was different. And for, I, I don't, I just, I had to share that God is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like. God is amazing and I just wanted to tell y'all that you gotta that I just want y'all to give everything that you are to God you know okay you know what I'm saying because he's an amazing God and it's not just the good stuff it's the the other stuff like pulling you through the bad times like you know what I'm saying even before the call you know even though it happened like right after before the call the peace that I had just about the situation from the walk from my window to the side of the room where the bathroom door is was just amazing, you know? And I just, I'm like, you know? And then normally at this time, everybody tries to go to sleep. Who would have knew that Dana would be up on live lights on? Usually the lights off, she reading her book, you know? And I go in there, like, can you talk? And we talk, we hug, and she's just like, well, these are happy tears. You scared me for a second. I'm like, yeah. And I know I look really sad, but like, this is just my my happy like a yes you know and i don't know what's gonna happen but that alone is just a step you know and the bigger picture for dad and like he's about to be five and it's just you know and i was already beating myself up because i couldn't figure out what gift i had wanted to get him like i knew what i was gonna buy him but it was like that one kid and I knew I didn't want to get him a phone. I knew I wasn't about to buy him an iPad. So then when I was suggested the Nintendo Switch, I'm like, you know, and then I see it. And the color that he wants is sold out. And all the other colors. And then there's yellow. So I get the yellow one. And I go look up all these games and stuff to buy. And I'm like, okay, well, I just want to make sure because I want to get him this blue one. He has to get the blue one. That's his favorite color, blue. And... I go back to the Best Buy site and somebody bought it. And besides, I was frustrated. Like, I was like, what? Like, oh my God, I'm so stupid. Like, I should have just bought it when I seen it. And if I seen the blue one, I could have canceled it. And then I just kind of took a step back. And I just like, it's not that serious. Like, it's just a toy. You know, it's just a game. And they're going to keep making more. You can buy another one. It's just that you have to wait for the shipping two days so he's gonna get it a day after his birthday or a couple days but you can still make his birthday special and he he's not gonna know the difference if i told him his birthday was today you know what i'm saying he would be my birthday's today you know so i don't know that was just i just i couldn't wait until the morning to tell y'all i just i had to tell y'all now and i know i probably look crazy i got I look I know my face probably look puffy and everything and I'm sorry if I scare any of y'all I just wanted to tell y'all that God is so awesome I promise he really is and he works and he he moves at his own pace but he he has a reason and he he sees the bigger piece the bigger picture he sees all the pieces already you know so maybe these five years was who knows I really don't know what the bigger picture may be because I don't know but all I know is that I love that little boy. I do. And I love my family, you know, because they've been here with me this whole time. Like, they let me go to school. Everybody just been such amazing people to me. I just, you saw all my good tissue. Dang. Everybody's been just, my family just been so amazing to me where I haven't had to have, you know, I didn't have old baby daddy issues like, oh, he's just not active, but I didn't have no drama or anything like that. And I'm just, it just made me sit here and just be so thankful for everything I've been through, you know? And I just, I just want y'all to know that I love y'all so much for just being here and supporting me. The ones that may be mad at me, the ones that 
that been here since day one, you know what I'm saying, when Mildred was still here. <laughs> like, the OGs know. I just want to say, like, I love y'all so much. And I'm like, I'm not going, I'm not, I, I can't stop. Like, I just, I cannot, I cannot stop. And then even looking at my progress today, just in general, of how I was, you know, three weeks ago or even three months ago where I didn't want to get out the bed. I didn't want to see anybody. I didn't want to do anything to where I can wake up now. And I'm just like, you know, like I got my little website thing back today and I'm, I'm just all happy like, oh, look at my little commercial and look, oh my God, I did it guys. And look at my little business plan and look at these girls that reached out to me and look who, look who I reached out and you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I, I had to share with y'all what happened and my eyes look so swollen, but I just had to share that with y'all because he's amazing and we got this we all do anything that y'all going through you just got to give it to god and it's all gonna work itself out in time you know everybody has to heal in their own time and in their own process you just gotta give it to god and just give it to god like that's all you can do that's all that's all you can do like honestly I just have to tell y'all that. So these are happy tears. These are these are thankful tears. These are grateful tears. And I'm just looking in the mirror and I'm crying. I'm just laughing like. <laughs> Every time I think I'm just finna. Because I, I was beating myself up y'all. I'm like oh my god I'm even. You know I'm overthinking. I'm like oh my god I'm even creating a sin right now. Because I shouldn't be thinking about them. I should just give it to God. And then I just got up and I went to pray. I said. If I can't get out of my head, at least pray about it. And who would have known that it would have been, you know? And I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. The conversation tomorrow, tomorrow can go completely different, you know? Like, I went, I'm sitting there, I'm finding sisters. Like, did he have a little sister? What was her? You know what I'm saying? Like, trying to reach out, like, you know? And just, just who would have known things would have went that way? But I'm speaking positivity for tomorrow because I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure, but... It's a step in any step, even if it's the first and only step ever taken, I'm thankful, you know? So, yeah, so, yeah, I love you guys. And, um, discovering God, of course. Um, everything happens for a reason. No one can take it away. Thank you. Amen. So, I'm going to pray again because I'm just... I, y'all, I can't, I said, I have to tell everybody, I'm like, I have to tell everybody, I can't keep this in my, I have to tell everybody, like, I don't care how crazy I look, I look crazy in the morning too, I just have to tell everybody, it's, I wanted to tell y'all, um, but yes, um, I love you guys, I'm gonna go to bed, I'm gonna pray and then go to bed, um, stay tuned, and, we got a lot in store, like I said, y'all, you know, 2020 is not over. We may be in the house, but it is not over. I'm speaking positivity, love, strength, you know, courage, faith, hope, everything that any of you guys reading this, you know, in this live right now may need. I'm sending this to you, you know, to continue to spread love to each other and, you know, to others as well. Good night, night Cassie, and I'm, I'm thankful for all of you guys, and um, yeah, want to leave off with a prayer. I'm I'm not re I'm I'm working on my praying courage right now. Like when I I don't want to be all stuttering and stuff for y'all, but I'm working on it. I get nervous and I just. You know, like, I'm working on it, like, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> but, yes, I do want to do a live prayer one day, you know, just pray with each other. And somebody said something about a Zoom prayer call, you know, where it's not so, it's real. Like, you know, I just want it to be intimate. You know, I want it to be, with, like, with us. But, yeah, these are happy tears, guys, so stop thinking the worst. <laughs> these are happy, grateful tears, and... But I love you guys.
and I'm gonna go to bed for real. Well, I'm praying I'm gonna go to bed, but later, um, I'm gonna save this for you guys, of course. Um, and we'll be talking tomorrow. Have y'all alarms on, you know, your girl will be up early. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna message her. I'm gonna text her. Like, do I just say, "Hey, this is that one girl from YouTube"? <laughs> but yes. So, all right, my babies, it's late. I'm just gonna be here for real. And good night for real.